Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Today we have kind of a, a different video, a special video, and that's why we're bringing it to you on Monday. Uh, we'll be back to our regular travel videos coming up on Friday. But today we have learned about a book that's come out and we have an opportunity to share by way of a Zoom meeting the author of that book. Her name is Nancy Kimsey and the book is called Grace on a Rambling Road, Devotions for the RV Traveler. So sit back, relax, and enjoy meeting this author and she's going to tell you a little bit about this very, very special book. Thank you. Well, today we would like to introduce a guest on our channel. Uh, she is an author. Her name is Nancy Kimsey. Got that right? That's right. Um, okay. On the book, it'll say Nancy Bell Kimsey. Okay. And Nancy has put together a book called Grace on a Rambling Road, Devotions for RV Travelers. And she's here to share with us a little bit about her, her story, her book, and what kind of inspired her to put these thoughts down on paper. So, Nancy, I'm going to turn it over to you and, and share with us a little bit about it. Great. Thanks so much for having me. I'll show you what the cover looks like so you can get an idea. If you... Very nice. Um, I've been a camper all my life, ever since I was a little tiny thing and my family took me along on camping trips and Girl Scout trips and that kind of thing. But I've only been an RVer in, in the past year. We've purchased a fiberglass camper, an Oliver travel trailer that we just really love. And nice. it, I have been doing quite a bit of devotional writing since I retired from my job as a teacher. And it occurred to me that it might be nice to put some of those devotionals together and a lot of them, there's 60 entries in the book, but 20, about 20 of them are directly related to RV camping. And the others are about camping in general, hiking, nature, road tripping. So really even someone that doesn't have an RV, I think would enjoy it a lot. Great. Um, one of the, the things we had talked about, the, the cinnamon roll fail. Uh, we have a, a cooking segment that we do on our channel from time to time. And I, I, I liked what you were telling us about that one. Would you mind sharing a little bit about that one? Sure. I was, we were sort of trying to up our game on the cooking a little bit and get out of just hot dogs and hamburgers and that kind of thing. And so I had read that you could make, you could take cinnamon rolls and wrap them around a skewer and put them over the fire and they would just puff up and be all golden brown and beautiful. But in my case, it just turned out to be uh, just an epic fail. The, the dough was, you know, kind of dripping off like a Salvador Dali painting, you know, just very, <laughs> it, it wasn't even edible. And it was just, it was just a total failure. And that kind of got me thinking about a lot of times in our life, in our spiritual lives, we have failures. We have times when we know uh, we've let the Lord down. We need to ask forgiveness. And I, in this particular devotional, I'm, I'm tying it into the life of Peter. We all know Peter said he was going to follow Christ anywhere and then immediately denied him three times. But uh, Christ restored him, forgave him, and, and used him. So even when we have failures, we can, we can still come back. It's great. And it's those sort of things. I think we all have those happen, whether it's cinnamon rolls or whether it's black tank problems or whatever it is in, in RVing. Um, tell us a little bit, you said part of this was kind of RV centric, but part of it was just about travel in general. Right. Some of the stories, for example, you know how you're driving along and all of a sudden the, traffic stops and there's a wreck and everybody's kind of rubbernecking and um, that one kind of is connected with the idea of uh, gossip and taking too much interest in everybody else's life and how you know with a connection there so i think with a lot of the stories or a lot of the and each, each well each one has like a bible verse and then either a, a story or some thoughts and then a, a prayer at the end and they're, they're brief so you would it's something you could do in the morning. It's not like a lengthy Bible study. But one thing I know, I think a lot of times it's nice to uh, something you learn or a thought to something that you can read. For example, um, 
one time this guy that I knew that was in the army, he said that his drill sergeant had said that a lot of battles were lost because somebody didn't want to put on their boots. You know how, and then I'm kind of connecting that to how, you know, if, if you're tent camping and in the morning your boots are all wet, you know, and you don't want to put them on. It's just like from now, ever since that man told me that story, when I think about putting on shoes or doing some kind of task that I don't really want to do, I may kind of make that connection back to what I learned that time. So I'm kind of hoping like, especially like the stories that there's one of the stories connects to the thought about your awning on your camper. And after you have to make sure that the wind doesn't come and, you know, tear it up. I want people now when they look at their awning, maybe to think back, at the story or the thought that was in that devotional so that it kind of sticks with you. Very nice. Now, I know we've got the, the holiday season coming upon us. If, if someone is interested in, in this book for themselves or for an RV or, uh, or traveler in their friend, friend circle or family, how, how can they get a hold of a copy of this? Yes, I do think it would be a great book. It's the, tr- the cover is really attractive. It's a nice size for someone to carry along with them on a trip or something. Um, it is available on, you know, of course, Amazon online with Walmart online, Barnes and Noble online. Um, if you don't like to uh, frequent these conglomerates and you prefer to just work with a particular bookstore, there's a a store called Baker Bookhouse in Grand Rapids, Michigan, that also you can get it through their website. Or if you'd like an autograph copy, you can contact me directly at nancybellkimsey at gmail.com. And we can work out a way for me to get an autograph copy to you. Oh, that's awesome. That is good. Now, um, is it just strictly in print or is it available as an e-format also? It is available in e-format, yes. Because I know a lot of people with space conserving, they they go to their 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 tablet and that's how they read anymore. Right, and especially if you're a full timer and you you know you're, you don't want a lot of packages to have to be delivered somewhere. So yes, it is an ebook format. Well, I appreciate everything you've shared with us about about your book and and what's ahead for Nancy. Well, I am about finished with a sequel. All the writing is done. Um, This one's going to be called Joy by a Roaring Campfire, Devotions for Campers. And this sequel doesn't have any mention of RVs. It's just mostly about camping in general. And as soon as my um, kids that are doing my cover, I've got some college kids working on my cover, the same ones that did this first one. As soon as my cover gets completed, then I'll be launching that as well hopefully in late October, or early November. Very nice. Very nice yeah. I don't know if the microphone will pick this up, but we're over uh, near the Memphis, Tennessee area. And it just started to rain. It's supposed to rain straight through till six o'clock in the morning, tomorrow morning. And you can't do anything about RVs without a little bit of the sound of the rain on the roof. So this just makes the perfect finish for us. So Nancy, we'd like to thank you for sharing with us today about, about this tremendous book. I I think it's going to be a lot of inspiration for a whole lot of people. And we appreciate you being here with us. Thanks. It's nice to speak to you. And is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, No, I enjoyed working on the book. And I, if, if you would like samples sent to you, you know, I'll be glad to do that. Or if you go on Amazon, there's a feature right next to where the cover is. There's a little arrow and it says, look inside. And if you click on look inside, you'll see the first couple of entries. And okay. that will give you an idea of the format and give you like a little sneak peek. And we will also go through and in on the video, we'll put in the, the description a link to the Amazon page for that for you. And if you'd like, we can also right. include the email address that you gave us. Sure, that would be great. I appreciate that. No problem. Nancy, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. thank you so much for contacting us. Well, thank you and safe travels to you. All right. Thank you. Well, we hope you enjoyed that. And as we did mention, we do have down in the uh, description of the video, the link for the book available on Amazon and it is available in paperback as well as an e-version, an e-book. 
and we also will uh, include her Gmail address that she shared with you there so that if you do want an autographed copy you can contact her directly so if you enjoyed what you saw today be sure and leave us a thumbs up we appreciate that and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel please do so and ring the notification bell it's especially important when special videos like today's come out that way you'll be notified when they're available and thank you for following us as we follow the moon Thank you for watching this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when we have new videos listed. Also be sure to check out our blog at followthemoon.us and also our Facebook page at followthemoon and on Instagram at followthemoontravel. Thanks.